Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for July 30th, 2019. And today we are going to cover Morning Tales and we are going to take not only current affairs questions but also uh, questions related to the static portion. So be ready for a lot of questions related to different areas. The first question is, uh, how much is the population of tigers in India according to Tiger Census 2018? So the Tiger Census of 2018 has now been launched. It started in December 2018 and has now been finished. And according to that, there has been a 33%, mind that it's a big increase, 33% increase in the number of tigers from 2014. Now, it was released on 29th July. And why is 29th July important? Because it is the date for International Tigers Day. Okay, so do not forget this as well. Additional information related to International Tigers Day. So, 33% increase in tigers, that is also important and International Tigers Day on 29th July. And the PM has released this tiger census which says that out of a total of 33, almost 3500 tigers in the entire world, almost 3000 tigers lie or are surviving in India. So, that's an important source of information for us. The answer to this question is... Uh, B2967 in case you don't know already 2967 is the number of tigers in India now let's jump directly to the second question which says where is Satya Mangalam Wildlife Sanctuary and Tiger Reserve located now why is this important because this particular tiger reserve received the central government award for the highest ever increase in number of tigers since 2014 which is in this case 30 30% so, Satya Mangalam Wildlife Sanctuary and Tiger Reserve uh, 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 recorded a 30% increase in population of tigers and because of that, this reserve has been awarded. Now, where is this Wildlife Sanctuary and Tiger Reserve located? The answer is B, Tamil Nadu. So, it is located in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Uh, let's come to the third question. The question is, which institute has launched the Smart Agri Hopter? to help farmers in spraying pesticides. Now, why is this important? Because it is related with agriculture, which is an important portion. A lot of questions being asked from this area. And it's also related with technology in agriculture, Okay, which is also an upcoming thing and therefore is often asked in the examination. Now, the question is, which institutes has launched the Smart Agrihopter? Let me tell you a little bit about this Agrihopter. The purpose is precision precision delivery of pesticides precision delivery of pesticides so it not only uh, is very accurate in delivering the pesticide and therefore reduces over usage of pesticide it also identifies where is the maximum or minimum amount of pesticide required and delivers it accordingly okay so it knows which kind of soil or which kind of uh, uh, crop requires how much of pesticide so that reduces over or under utilization or spraying of pesticide and of course because humans were involved in spraying of pesticides so it resulted in a lot of diseases among humans so that has now been removed completely or can be removed completely with this technology if adopted successfully by farmers the answer to this question is c iit madras the fourth question is, where will India's first bamboo industrial park be set up? A very important question because this is the first time uh, an, uh, a, an industrial park for the bamboo sector is being set up in Dima Hasao. So, the name of the district can also be asked. The name of the district is Dima Hasao. Okay, where is it? It is in Assam. Now, it has also been identified or it has also been announced that another bamboo industrial park will be launched very soon in Arunachal Pradesh as well. The answer to this question is D Assam. So it has been launched or announced in Assam. Fifth question for today, which education platform will launch the online master's degree program in data science in collaboration with Liverpool John Moose University? Not a very important question because not a lot of additional information available here, but the question can be framed in such a way that you have to identify which institute has collaborated with this particular university and uh, launched an online 
uh, master's deg degree program in data science. A lot of institutes are launching such futuristic uh, programs, but the collaboration with John Moose University is important. The answer is E upgrad for this question. Now this is a very interesting question because after a long time we have seen a change in who has won Tour de France. In 2019, a Colombian has won Tour de France for the first time and I want you guys to answer this question from me. Uh, the picture is available here so it should be easy for you to remember it after having read it on Google or if you already know it, please provide the answer to me in the comment section below. Okay, so the answer for question 6 has to be provided by you guys to me. Let's come to the next question. Which boxer has clinched his first international gold medal at the Thailand Open International Boxing Tournament 2019? Now this boxer of India also won a silver medal at Asia Boxing Championship or Asia or Asian Boxing Championship very recently and now he's won a gold medal at the Thailand Open International Boxing uh, Championship or tournament that's why he becomes important for us can be asked in the examination the answer is B Ashish Kumar some static questions for you now headquarters of world meteorological organization a little bit of information before you answer that to me you can provide your answers pause this video in the comment section below or you can keep listening to me and provide the answer in the comment section it was launched on 23rd March 1950 so that is important. So the rate of formation as well as the year of formation often asked in the examination. Okay. Headquarters, you have to identify among these five options. Who is the president? Gerhard Adrian. Gerhard Adrian. Very less chances that this uh, the president uh, be asked in the examination unless it is in news. But yes, certainly uh, can be asked in the examination as well. Okay. The answer to this question is A. Geneva. A. Geneva. Where is Geneva? In Switzerland. So you know, you have to know that as well. Geneva is in Switzerland. Let's uh, come to the next question. Who is the CEO of UN High Commission for Refugees? Now this has been in news because of a lot of refugees who are trying to cross the Mediterranean from African nations towards the European nations and a lot of refugees suffering in uh, Myanmar and uh, moving towards India as well as Thailand. So that's why uh, the CEO of UN High Commission for Refugees becomes important. The answer is C. Filippo Grandi. Who is the President of International Court of Justice? Last question for today. Now why is this important? Because recently a verdict has been given on Kulbushan Jadav case. I hope you un uh, you know what exactly is the case about uh, Kulbushan Jadav and ICJ has not ruled in favor of India in this uh, particular case. If you know about this case, please mention it in the comment section below. Uh, a basic understanding of your general knowledge. I want to gather something about that and it will be interesting for you to express yourself as well. The answer to this question is A. Abdul Kavi Ahmed Yusuf. Abdul Kavi Ahmed Yusuf. That is the answer for this question. You have to answer question number 6 for me. Okay. Who is the first Colombian to win Tour de France 2019? Provide me the answers uh, in the comment section below. And as soon as you take this quiz on the website itself you can submit the quiz and you can get your results immediately so do not forget to take this quiz and the older quizzes in case you have missed out on any of the quizzes that i am holding on a daily basis not only this i am also holding regular quizzes for the upcoming rbi and sebi examinations and in case you have done a masters and want to apply for ugc net yes there are courses for that also and quizzes are being uploaded for that as well. So do not forget to take these free and very useful quizzes for the upcoming examinations uh, which are expected to start from September onwards and go on till December 31st. Okay, so that was all for morning, to, uh, morning tales for 30th July. I hope you liked it. Tomorrow I shall be coming out with some more questions both static and current in nature. All the very best. Have a nice day. Take care.